We are back with some college football action here for Wednesday, October 5th, our first Wednesday show of the season, a little bit earlier than I expected, but Hurricane Ian had some different plans for us, so got a pretty good game on slate here for Wednesday night, so let's jump right into it. looks to get the bounce house rocking as SMU comes to town to take on Central Florida. SMU enters this one as the 59th overall team in the hot tip at Power Rankings. UCF is the 45th overall team, and both these teams have had an interesting starts to the season. It's a UCF team that comes off of a very solid win over Georgia Tech last week. John Rice Plumley has done a pretty good job at the quarterback position. 827 yards passing for him on the year. Five touchdowns to go along with that. Javon Baker has been his number one target at the wide receiver position and he's been a pretty good job catching the ball with 257 yards but overall the success of the UCF offense hasn't necessarily come in the passing game a lot of it is because of the rush and the rush that Plumley is able to set up he's rushed for over 400 yards already this season not to mention they have two running backs in Richardson and Bowser who have both rushed for over 200 yards themselves and overall it's a UCF team that does a really good job getting down the field um, averaging 482.5 yards per game and really have just done a great job rushing the ball and a great job moving downfield. SMU, on the other hand, enters this game following a loss to TCU in the rivalry game last week. Tanner Mordecai leads the way at quarterback once again this season and sort of opposite of UCF. They've been a little bit more of a pass-heavy team um, coming into this one. He's already passed for over 1,300 yards on the season, 12 touchdowns to go along with that. Wide receiver Rashad Rice has been the number one guy for this SMU team 565 yards on the year for him not to mention four touchdowns to go along with that Trey Sears at running back has also been fairly solid 200 yards rushing for him four touchdowns as well and offensively like UCF they've done a pretty good job moving the ball downfield 506.3 yards per game for this team and overall you know we have an over at 64 and a half going into this game and for good reason both these offenses have been very very strong this season but it's an interesting matchup on the defensive side of things. Both these defenses play well into the opposing team's you know weakness um, for SMU have done a really good job against the run surprisingly this season only giving up 180.5 yards per game which you know by no means is the best stat line in the world but it looks a heck of a lot better than what they've done in the passing game they've held their opponents to 25 and a half points per game again nothing super special but um, you know looks decent going up against a UCF team with a total this high UCF though on the defensive side of things have been even more impressive only giving up 13 and a half points per game and most importantly i think going into this game going up against a guy like mordecai they've been really really strong in the past defense only allowing 169.8 passing yards per game this season and i really think this is a game that we're gonna see a defensive battle through and through i mean even though smu has had some some higher scoring affairs um quote unquote they're actually three and one towards the under this season ucf is also three and one towards the under this season and I just don't think this number should be near as high as it is. I think we're going to see a defensive battle. I think we're going to see a low scoring game and I'm taking the under 64 and a half here for SMU UCF. Now that'll do it for Wednesday's college football show. If you want to see more sports betting action for everything going on this week, head over to hottipbets.com and take a look at the computer model picks up on the website. Got college football and the NFL up on the website every single day. We got games as well as horse racing and, of course, the MLB playoffs getting started here soon. So make sure you take a look at all of that as well as the UFC cards being posted every single Saturday morning. Also, follow the Hot Tip Bets main account at Hot Tip Bets on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook to stay up to date with all the computer model stuff being posted over there. Follow my personal account at Hot Tip Bets Chris on Betstamp, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, so you can get early access to all of my picks. Um, and you can see all the content that I'm posting across those social platforms. And last but definitely not least, for watching here on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content. Most importantly, drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys are betting on for today's card. Thanks for watching today's show. I will see you guys tomorrow.